Hey guys, and welcome back to more Nightmare of Decay. When we last left off, we had found some keys and we'd done some puzzles. And let's go use our new spade key. Oh. It's not where we want to be at all, is it? Let's go back the right way, shall we? Okay. Are we going the right way? We're not going the right way. Hey, we're on to a winner. This is how you stretch out playtime, by the way. Okay, now, third time's a charm. Excellent. Let's go inside and see what we can find. Oh! I mean, we found some zombies. Fuck out of here, dude. Come on. Watch those... Watch those bullets. Every bullet counts. Apart from when they don't. Okay, survival knife. Oop. Ooh. Oh, hang on. We can assign a hotkey. So we can have the pistol as one. Oh, what the hell? I wish I knew that. Two and what's there we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so cool. Alright, cool. Let's start opening some more door. Ooh. So this is what we need the acid for. These fleshy things on the wall. Ah. And here's me thinking, oh, there's the crown. A turning mechanism with a hex on... Hexagonal square. Right, so we need the square crank and we need the hex crank. God damn it. I mean, that's certainly Resident Evil inspired. Was there a Resident Evil game? A wall made of strange flesh growth. Maybe I can dissolve it. Ha <laughs> ha, and that splodges. So cool. Yeah, was there a Resident Evil game, uh, especially the original style, that didn't have uh, a crank? I don't think there was. Oh. Hello. Who are these people? Well, they look like females. So, sorry ladies, but I need your head. Oh, shit. Wait, are they? I'm not actually sure. Ooh. Ooh. I don't think we're getting his head. Oh. They're the cultists from blood, aren't they? They are so the cultists from blood. I do not accept any other explanation for them, except that they are the cultists. 100%. If only we had a flare gun. Alright, well, whatever. I thought they were women from a distance. Okay. Oh. Hello. That was unfortunate. Yeah, the pistol animation is so good, man. So good. Right, so we need the square for that. Now, if I was a square, where would I be? Ooh. Oh, God! Are you fucking serious? We got mimics? As in honest to god D and D mimics? Jesus <laughs> Okay. Man they're tough. We're down to two magazines. Right, 
That was... That was not good. But, you know, we killed it, so... There's that. Is there really nothing in this library? Alright. Well, you know, apart from the mimic and the fact that we need a crank. Diamond key. Ooh. Hello. Ah, oh, yes. Eight bullets. Locks. You need to find a key to unlock it. Well, that's horse shit. Yeah, these are all actual real photos. Um, paintings, I should say. Ooh. The decapitated body of a middle-aged woman lay sprawled on top of the bed. A trail of blood is leading... Ah, I bet her head's in the wardrobe. Huh. A ghost is like... Ooh, some more acid. A ghost is literally still in the, uh... Still in the room. That's cool. <clears throat> what has happened to my husband? It's almost like William has become a completely different person. Now even... Now he even spends his nights down in the basement. And I can't remember the last time we slept in the same bed together. We barely even speak to each other anymore. Even more worrying, some servants have gone missing. And strange things have been happening around the manor. Just last night I heard a horrid breathing sound coming from the wardrobe. It kept me up all night. I tried to tell William about it, but he just ignored me and walked away. I'm beginning to fear for my life. I can't live like this anymore. Yeah, well... Something took your head, lady. Which... Yeah, as admittedly, is a little bit awkward. Spade key. Club key. So we've still got those keys. So I'm guessing... We're not done with them just yet. Evening, pal. Let's get this done. Come on, let's get a crit. Like, how can a game this simple have such satisfying gunplay? Honestly. Two magazines left. The filthy toilet. The toilet is clogged with disgusting filth. The stench coming from it is extremely pungent. You notice that there's something stuck in the toilet. Alright. Silent Hill. Ah. That would have been painful to pass. Just saying, guys. Ooh. We can squish the bugs as well. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we've got a square crank. I mean... Oh, unlocks. Where does that go? Is that... Ah, oh, it is the other side. Good to know. So, diamond. Right. Bloody wardrobe. Filthy toilet. I wonder what happened to the maid. Evening. Like whoever we're playing at is ooh, probably unlock it with a lockpick. Well, funny. We do have a lockpick. Ah, it's a save room. Ooh, with some goodies. Alright. Drop a save. Uh how much health do we have? You know what? Oh, we needed that. There we go. Health is a bit of an issue at the moment. Right, let's go use the crank downstairs. Uh, yeah. Downstairs in the library. And hopefully, we'll find some goodies. Also, we can use the crank in the other room, but... We need the hex crank as well, which is an issue. Oh, right, that's given us the two thing. Right, so we should now have all the acid that we need. Correct? That's the flesh wall. So, 
Oh, look at this fucking map, guys. Like, game des developers, take note. This is how you make a fucking map. This map is fantastic. Alright. Absolutely fantastic map. So, let's go make our acid and go dissolve that flesh one. And then we can go from there. Wait, it was that one, wasn't it? Nope. Think I was right the first time. Well, I was definitely not right the first time. Ah! Right, okay. So, you in there. You in there. Hey. Oof. That's that's some powerful stuff. Uh yeah. Not sure that we want to be carrying this around in our pocket for too long. <clears throat> but you know. What a mansion. What a mansion indeed. So the flesh wall memory serves was this one? Nope. Nope. It's in one of these rooms, wasn't it? Was it really downstairs? God damn, son of a... Yes. Yes, it was. I'm a moron and I'm wasting your time. But then, you know, if you wanted quality content, you wouldn't be here watching me. <laughs> Excellent. So, guess now we just. Whoop. Well, I hope that didn't uh, leave poisonous chemicals. Ooh, oh, diamond key. Poisonous chemicals. <clears throat> well, I guess if it did, it didn't matter too much. Now, the diamond key was upstairs, wasn't it? Yeah. So, we can go upstairs, go through the diamond door, and hopefully find another key to another room. Now, if I was a diamond door, I would be here. Apparently not. I'm really good at picking these doors, aren't I? Like, honestly, guys, 50-50% chance to get it right, and I am wrong every single time. Ooh, hello. Hello. Oofed. Well, at least he's still smiling. Cabin key. Have anything else for me, Chief? Oh. Magnum. He killed himself. Certainly did. You know, this guy probably would have lasted longer. Uh, if he had just, you know, stayed alive with me. Maybe. The Magnum has a charge delay before... Wait, what? So let's just try this out a minute. Right. Oof. Okay. That's definitely going to take some getting used to. <sighs> to my dearest Lucy, I know this letter will probably never reach you, but I had to at least leave something behind. If only to give you peace of mind before I do what must be done. I don't know how many days or even weeks it's been since I've been trapped in this horrid place. I remember falling asleep beside you only to wake up in a nightmare, a nightmare that never ends. As I sit here and prepare to take my own life, I wonder if I will finally awaken to find myself next to you in bed, or if I will enter my eternal sleep. Never to see you again. I love you, Lucy. Pray for me. That was cool. 
That was really cool. I mean, think about it. They don't know, do they? You go to sleep and you're in this nightmare. You kill yourself and wake up. Oof. I like it. So this, these other people that we found running around, they are also um, people. So we've got the cabin key. All right. Cabin key. Let's go take a lonely little walk. Out. Into the woods. Well, it's not really woods, really, is it? Have a little peek. Ooh. Evening. Drunken man. You see a drunken man drinking from a bottle. His eyes are sunken in and there is a haunted, tired look on his face. <laughs> I, <laughs> I see that this horrid place has claimed yet another victim. Before you ask, I have no idea what this place is or how I got here. I'm probably the same as you. Woke up here after going to sleep. After getting chased by some rabid dogs, I managed to escape into this cabin and locked myself in. Imagine my surprise to discover the cabin was full with boxes of booze. If I'm going to meet my end in this place, I definitely don't want to be sober when it happens. The drunken man pauses to take a drink from his bottle. Somebody tried to get inside earlier, was slamming the door, begging to be let in. I ignored him. No way. I was going to open that door with all those monsters outside. I'm pretty sure the dogs got him. Ah! Environmental storytelling. The horrid scream as they ripped him apart like a squealing pig mixed with a crying baby. Something I'll never be able to forget. I'm probably next. At least I have this booze to keep me company before I die. You, sir, are a little snivelling turd. Has to be something else in here. Ah! I mean, that will definitely do it. Oh. Ooh! Ooh! The fuck? Well, he just got fucked up. Definitely hard to feel sorry for him. Right. You thought that was funny, yeah. did you? Oof. Come on. Come on, sweetheart. Oof. Could have just left the dude to drink in peace, though. He's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Well, at least we got our three shotgun shells back. Oof, that was savage. Still, we got the crank. Is there going to be more of those guys outside? Yep, looks like it. Son of a bitch. Alright, this is going to get way worse before it gets better. Oh, Damn. Alright. Let's be careful now. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, man. These guys are actually quite rough. Oh, Sneaky fucker. Come on. Oh, my God. Like, waiting to... Oh, no. No. Oh, you son of a... All right. So, different strategy this time. We're just going to bum rush right up to them. Put this in the chest and unload. I think that's probably... Ow. Going to be the best way. No. No. Tab. 
health. Oh, God, these guys hurt. Where are you, you fucking turd? Yeah. Best way to deal with those guys. Run up to them, tank the damage, stick it in their chest and pull the trigger. It's not elegant, but it works. So, anyway, we've got another crank. And that took a heck of a lot of our healing supplies. But, it's okay. So, we need to go wink, 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 wink. Cool. Let's go and see what we can do. So, that's going to give us the crown. The crown is cool. But are these guys going to come to life? That's the question. I'm going to say maybe. Hexagon shape. Ah. Oh, this is straight out of Resident Evil 1, isn't it? Son of a bitch. What was that one? Square. That's actually quite cool. Yeah, if you've played the original uh, Resident Evil 1, it's... I mean, that is... Oh, wait, hang on. Nope, that's fine. I'm guessing if we got this wrong, we would have a very gaseous end. But... We didn't. Oh! Okay. Oh, I see. There's two of them. Wait, no. Is there... Right, look, he's missing from there. I see. Actually, yeah. This is fine. I thought that was going to be like some kind of gas thing. But I guess not. Now we can take our crown. Cool. Right, let's go see our old pal, the king. Got a little something that might interest you, stranger. Now, if I was king douchebag, I would be... Straight through there. Cool. So the way, like, the sprinting mechanic works is kind of interesting. Like, you know enemies around because you, you only have limited sprint when there are enemies around. Which is really weird when you think about it. So we're not going to be thinking about it. Alright. So... Now we're going to have to fight some nasty bastards, aren't we? Yes. Now, are they impervious? Oh god, how many is there? A few, by the looks of things. Ooh! Ooh! Right, no idea if that was worth it. I'm gonna say maybe it was worth it. Yeah, considering how much damage this is doing. Oh, jeez. Holy shit. This is fine. This is fine. Yeah, you better run, you snivelling little turd. That does hurt, but not too bad. Was that worth all of our magnum ammo? I mean, probably not, because the shotgun was pretty effective, but we're out of health. Yeah, we are out of health. Alright, well, whatever. 
Oh. I guess we're gonna go down to the basement. What lies beneath? At least there's a safe spot here. Some medicine. And a diary. Lord's Diary one. We finally moved into the new manor. Irma was against it, but I managed to convince her. I'm sure she'll fall in love with this place in no time at all. It also helped that the price for the manor was dirt cheap. Something about horrific murders in the past and it being haunted, but I don't care. I was drawn to this manor from the first moment I laid eyes on it. Almost as if it was calling out to me. And you didn't think that was a little bit weird? Why would you, I guess? Oh. Hello. Zombies we can handle. Zombies we can handle. Well, as long as we've got ammo for them anyway. Come on, dude. There you go. Have a seat. Oh. Chains are holding it closed. I could probably cut the chains with something. Alright, well. Oh! -ho! Let's see if we can find, indeed, find something to cut the chains with. Alright. So we've got a couple of options. Although, we are kind of just about out of time. Oh. Evening. Let's oh, I was going to say we'll just leave them there for now, but I guess curiosity got the better of that one. Unfortunately, he paid the ultimate price. Oof. These guys are starting to uh, starting to wear our ammo down quite a little bit. And go further down. Curious. Ooh. Stuck bolt cutters. It's a pair of bolt cutters stuck in the ground under a fleshy growth. There may be some way to dissolve the growth. Do we need to make more acid? Oh! There's another shooting gallery. 250 we need to make. Oh boy. Well. This is going to be hard, isn't it? I'm guessing so. Oh man. Oh man. Jesus. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay. I mean, you might as well go for the harder to hit ones. Because otherwise there's very little point. Okay, that's okay. Takes so much concentration. Almost seems like. No, I don't want to jinx it. Not going to say it. Because I'm already. Jinxing myself for thinking it. That's fine. It's all fine. Oof. Oof. Okay. 
Okay. Oh! Come on. Oh! Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, son of a bitch. <sighs> you know what? We really almost had that. Ah, oh, fuck. Right, well, I'm going to do that off camera, guys, and I'll see you back here in a second.